This is the Two Hats Top 5, Jefferson Carps with Jimmy Adams and the Beard Dove Larson. Today we bring you the Top 5 Worst Video Game Adaptations. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and let us know. Number 5, Jimmy. Number 5. Number 5, Alone in the Dark. Now this game was kind of cool. When I was like young, I played the hell out of it. It was like new. It was a great experience. And then they made this movie off it. If your movie stars Christian Slater, Stephen Dorff, and Tara Reid, you might be in some trouble. All they need is Kevin James, and they have like every C-list actor in Hollywood in this movie. So junk. Oh, actually, speaking of junkie, um, who saw Tara Reid turning into this mess? When I saw American Pie and she was off camera blowing that kid from Rookie of the Year, I was like, damn, this girl is cute, right? Then the big Lebowski. Oh, yeah, I was a kabowza. Now she looks like a beat-up catcher's mid. I mean, the woman's a goblin. She looks like Kramer when he started smoking cigarettes. She looks terrible. <laughs> a friend of mine was really hungover, and he said, man, I feel like Tara Reid on an average Tuesday. And you know what? I understood what he meant. She's a disaster. She's a troll. <clears throat> uh, alone, <laughs> alone in the Dark. Number <laughs> What the hell? Uh, alone in the Dark, number five. Alone in the Dark, Terrible number movie. five. The worst video game adaptations. Number four, Jim. Number four. Number four, Mortal Kombat. Right? Mm. Despicable, despicable movie. So <laughs> it was a really shitty movie. They tried to use like a popular video game to get some people to see it before they realized it was a shitty movie, you know, make some cheap money. A couple of shitty, tired actors, Christopher Lambert and Bridget Wilson. I don't know. It's just really sad. But it mainly makes the list. And I'll tell you why. It was an incredibly overrated video game. I was, it is not any Street Fighter 2. It's not even in the same realm. It's not in the same neighborhood as Street Fighter 2. That is a great game. The controls are incredibly smooth. It had great timing. Cool characters. Blanca. Like, what's up with that green guy? Where's he from? I'd like to know. He's a weird monster. Chun-Li. Humada, 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 humada. Boner! Um, <laughs> you know, Zangief, a big filthy rusky, a big pinko. He's a good bad guy. The scary leader of Oats Military Academy, M. Bison, kicking your ass. It was a legendary game. Mortal Kombat, in comparison, sucks. And anyone who thinks it's a superior game deserves rotten hell, with OJ and Heinrich Himmler. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. Street Fighter 2, great. Mortal Kombat, terrible. And it's so clunky, and there's no memorable characters. Uh, so number four, um, <clears throat> Mortal Kombat. Uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, which one had... Ayuken! Ayuken! That's uh, <laughs> Street Fighter 2, yeah. There you go. All right, you're right then. What's number three, Jim? Number oh, three. yeah, number three, Tomb Raider, right? So Tomb Raider was a sick game. When I was a kid, younger, I used to play at my friend's house, and I was like blown away. The gameplay was really cool. Blown! And a female hero? I mean, it was really kind of revolutionary. It was exciting. I was like 16. I'd seen that little minx in a tank top. Made me think mm. of sexual intercourse. But I do like a sexism. I don't know. But um, No. Okay, good. That's what they were going for. Right. Well, it worked. But the movie <laughs> was an abortion. It was like, it might have marked the beginning of like a cold, heartless, soulless dead hollywood that has like remained for the last 25 years churned out watered down action reboots of original ideas signaling the death of movies at a movie theater as an art form it's kind of shitty now and i kind of blame this movie what's number two Jim? yeah number two um uh, mario brothers from 1993 awful movie it, it i'm talking about abortion this is an absolute monstrosity i mean straight up garbage the uh, tv show with captain Lou Albano had more heart and it looked less junky somehow. There are movies that are so bad they're good, like Batman and Robin or Troll 2. Then there are movies like this that are cheap, unfunny, <laughs> boring, written by assholes in suits in a boardroom. It makes you want to kill yourself. Leguizamo, though, right? Or Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins. I mean, it just it didn't really make Poor it. choices for them. <laughs> yeah, it was because a Because yeah, am I right? Like they John, out, John yeah. Leguizamo uh, is great, right? Or He's okay. I mean, I like him. Yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah, he's okay. Um I'm Leggy. Oh, because of the last name? That's no, cool. he's really Leggy. Oh. He's got great uh, leg. Great games, actually. Yeah, no, yeah. you say that. I'm kind of thinking. Um, number two. I mean, the guy hasn't oh. skipped a leg day in probably 30 years. <laughs> All right. You know what? The Bob Mario. Hoskins is a great a was a great actor, and he um, kind of sold out. Like, it was on, we probably needed the check. You know, he's like a young actor yeah. in Hollywood. Sure. Oh, Hoskins, what are you doing, man? It's gross. Okay. And the number one terrible video game adaptation, Jim. Yeah, this one was easy. Max Payne. Now, it's not that I hate like ridiculous action movies. I love Tango and Cash, one of my favorite movies. Terry Hatcher, Dove. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're real and they're spectacular. I love Arnold and just put everything he did. Demolition Man, that is like a national treasure. But what I do hate is the mindless, boring action movies, you know, that are just like poorly done, that take themselves take themselves too seriously. And that's what this piece of shit is. It's like so boring and gross and just shitty. Like, But the biggest problem for the movie, I think, by far is Mark Wahlberg. Forget that he's like a weird asshole in real life or that he thought he was a rapper. Listen, he's no rapper. I'm a rapper, baby. I can spit rhymes. All I can spit is tobacco. And that's just a sample of my dis, my like diss tracks or whatever. Because, um, but forget all that. He's a terrible actor. Um, he's literally the worst actor I've ever seen. And I've seen The Room. He ruins so many movies. The Departed. I can almost hear him like acting. His brain is like working and it's like <laughs> telling his mouth to say things. It's the weirdest thing. The Perfect Storm, The Fighter. He is so fucking bad. It makes me want to barf. The only movie he was good in is Boogie Nights. You want to know why? Because he played himself like a goofball with below average intelligence. Every other role he's had, he's been terrible. And yeah, yeah, I'm sure he's got a big dick, right? What a joke. Those little hands, not bloody likely. I really hate him. His brother Donnie can act. Mark sucks dick and has a micro dick. So um, number, uh, number one was Max Payne. The top five worst video game adaptations. Number five, Alone in the Dark. Uh, because Tara Reid is gross and Stephen Gore. He's underrated, but Jim doesn't like it. Number four, Mortal Kombat, 1995. Because it's not Street Fighter. <laughs> Number three, Tomb Raider. 2001, Ange- Angelina Jolie uh, and her fake lips. So, you know. Number two, Mario Brothers, 1993. It was a total abortion. Uh, it ruined our childhood and everything we ever dreamed about. Even with John Leguizamo, it yeah, still Lake, just destroyed yeah. everything. And number one, Max Payne, 2008. Because Mark Wahlberg is a terrible, terrible actor. You can see his brain thinking that he needs to act. And it's the number one worst video game adaptation of all time, Max Payne. Who's out?